everyone. It's Red Baron here. Today we're going to discuss Magicka and how to progress abilities all the way to Void Break while you're progressing through Overmortal. This video is brought to you by Xerus, who's out of server 54. Very strong Magicka player who helps me develop this guide, coming up with the best progression of abilities and what to focus on once you're in Void Break. So when you're starting out in Overmortal, with the Magicka class, you're going to want to start going down the right side here, taking these abilities down to Third Eye. With Third Eye, you're going to level this to 40. At level 40, you're going to get this Perception bonus, which gives you crit that lasts for quite a while, 7.6 seconds. Stop at... 40 there and get spiritual wall to 39. Then you're going to hop back over here to the left side and you're going to focus on the left side. What we're doing is we're leveling down all the way. We're getting Kai Blast up just enough so you can move on to Pyrokinesis. At Pyrokinesis, you want to level it to 69. And then you unlock your biggest DPS AoE skill, Blizzard. With Blizzard, you're going to want to get it all the way to level 60. Then you want to unlock your second shield, Windwalker. Get that to 40, which gives you wind riding and a little boost in your speed, which helps whenever you're doing open world events. And then you're going to focus on Blizzard again. For your advancements, you're going to want to first put one point into Spiritual Wall to get 8% crit. You can take it all the way up to 5 later on to give you a crit of plus 16. After one point goes into Spiritual Wall, you'll want to focus on Blizzard. Blizzard is going to be giving you total damage of plus 8 uh, once you get it to plus 5, and then it's going to be giving you other bonuses of plus 10% M damage as well at plus 5. Windwalker would be your next choice. Windwalker is going to provide you with immunity, so you are immune to debuffs, and this can last for 0.6 seconds. And the further you advance it, the higher your timer goes, so you'll have less of a chance of becoming hit by debuffs. And after that, if you have extra, you can just put them into other skills that are going to be increasing your damage, like Pyrokinesis, uh, until a later point. You'll most likely want to be saving them, though, for Void Break skills. For your ability casting order, you're going to be doing Shield first. And then you're going to follow that up with Third Eye as an AoE as well as Blizzard to help kill the pets. Blizzard's going to be a good AoE, damaging both pets and the Taoist. After that, you want to CC your opponent with Paralysis from Paralysis Charm. And then use Pyrokinesis, which is going to provide Scorch, dealing extra damage to your opponent. After that, you're going to want to put your active Curios in order of burst damage ability, then start using your relics for more damage. After you hit Void Break, it is recommended to not reset immediately. You'll want to go ahead and start investing into Tenitris. Tenitris is going to be one of your big damage dealers. It also is going to be providing Scorch and Weaken, which are two very Good bonuses in increasing your damage. You're going to want to level this up to at least 59 uh, right off the bat. After leveling up to Nitrus, you can start to work on your laws and try and get to Nitrus Metal and to Nitrus Wood. These are going to be very good skills for you to be using uh, and replace for your third eye and paralysis charm, which aren't going to be that good of abilities anymore once people have Immortal's Will all the way up to level 5. 
progressing in Void Break, you're going to continue to level up your Tenitris skill as well as Tenitris metal. And these two are going to be focused all the way up to around the 60, 70, 80 mark, depending on your ability to get Citrine. While you're working on those, you'll want to be working on leveling Phantasm as well. This is going to be a good replacement skill at the end of Void Break for your final build. So at this point, you should be about Void Break middle. Uh, your build should have Pyrokinesis still, Lizard, two Shields, and then Tonitris and Tonitris Metal. Your final Void Break ability lineup should have 99 Blizzard, 99 Phantasm, and then Spiritual World. We're going to want to have high level Tenitris Metal, high level Tenitris Wood, around 79, 80. And then for your shields, you're going to want to have Dragon Taming and Dragon Taming Water. So what should the final Void Break advancements look like? Well, once you're in Void Break, you can put advancements towards Tenitris Metal as well as Tenitris Wood. However, first priority should still be putting some into Blizzard, having some for Windwalker while you're leveling, and then having some in Phantasm. And this is going to provide a good mix of damage increases for your Void Break character. Going into a casting order, this casting order is what Xerus is currently using. So when we go in and look at these abilities, he's using a three Tenitris build. So he's only using one shield at the moment for his abilities. He's using Scorch with Tenitris, followed up by Tenitris Wood, which provides crit, provides M hit. And then an increase in his crit with that plus two seconds, which is going to carry him through for his blizzard to hit. And then he has some powerful active curios that go back to back, followed by Tenitris Metal, which is going to be providing that paralysis and CC, which is a good bonus, followed by his array. And then Phantasm for damage. Phantasm is going to be providing three hits, um, dealing significant amount of damage, um, as well as another paralysis for anyone who doesn't have Immortals Will level five, followed up by his relics. That's going to be it for this Magicka Void Break ability guide and early game ability guide. We're going to close out here with Xerus using these abilities that I just talked about uh, in some duels against some other strong opponents, just so you can see how well he lines up with them. If this guide was helpful for you, feel free to like and subscribe as I continue to make over mortal content. Who's Danica? Why do I have this urge to kill them?